Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Woo, I love working with agents. Shout out to Roberta. You made my morning. Today we were talking about video journey. I call it a video journey. So if you're new to me, welcome. Uh, my name is Ed Trox, so I'm a video coach and I help agents and entrepreneurs with their video journey. That's right, it's a journey because we, it's a lot of work getting on camera. No matter how comfortable you may or may not be on video, it's a lot of work, whether you're doing mobile or computer, whatever it is. Um, but today we were talking about uh, different topics that you could cover uh, for agents. And of course, it applies to entrepreneurs as well. But we were uh, talking with fellow agents about what they could do for stepping up their video game, uh, being able to be on video, like literally be on video face of them in front of the camera. And this is a topic that is really hard for a lot of people, not just agents, but just a lot of people in general. Listen, I faced this before myself, believe it or not. When I first started my business, I did not want to be on camera. Not at all. Are you kidding me? Like, I always made sure everyone else was in front of the camera, but not me. I was always the guy behind the scenes doing all the work. But I knew that if I wanted to start my business, well, I had already started it, but I knew if I wanted to start getting noticed in the uh, workspace, in the, I'm having some coffee and I'm like trying to really think about sipping on this. Um, so let's, let's just take a sip. Cheers. But when it comes to, um, the video journey, like I had to learn all this stuff on my own. I had to force myself out of my box because I knew that that was the only way that I was going to get noticed in the online market space. I knew that if I could get comfortable in front of the camera, it didn't have to be perfect. I just had to show my face because I knew like once I got in front of people, conversations would naturally happen. I knew that people would naturally gravitate towards me because of who I am, what I, what I do, how I present myself. Um, maybe even just the hair, you know, let's just be honest. Everyone talks about the hair these days. So yes, I'm going to keep it to, you know, get, get conversations going, maybe some more engagement on my posts, who knows, but you know, you find something that, that you want to, to, that you're attracted to when you're talking to someone or when you see them when you're scrolling through your social media feed. And so I knew that that's why I had to get good at video and my videos didn't start out good. Heck, even these days, you might not even think my videos are that great. Who knows? Who cares, right? The fact is, is that I'm doing what I can control, which is showing up. And this is what we were talking about with uh, the fellow agents is what can you control? You can control being comfortable on camera. You can control being able to show your face on camera. It may not happen right away, and that's okay. There's steps that go into it. You know, everyone uh, talks about, you know, oh, just go live or just record a video. Just pop out your phone and hit the record button. Yeah, you could do that. But if you're not doing that already, there's something deeper going on. There's something else that's holding you back. So we have to figure out what that is. And if you think about it, Who's coaching you on that? Because one of my clients who I was oh, oh, just having a conversation with not too long ago, she was talking about how she realized that she's hired business coaches. She's, she's done all of these other things in her business and for her business, but she's never had a video coach. And it was one of those aha moments for her because, yeah, who is teaching you this stuff? How are you getting more comfortable in front of the camera? Because... It's not just go grab your phone and hit the record button. Yes, that's a piece of it. But if that was easy enough to do, you would have already been doing it, right? You would have already been comfortable with it. So if you're not doing that comfortably, there's something else going on. And let me just tell you right now, it's not your equipment in terms of your lights, your cameras, the mic. Listen, I know you bought that equipment and it's just sitting inside of that uh, desk drawer or it's just sitting inside of that uh, closet. You spent the money, which you probably spent already over a hundred bucks at least on just the web camera. Who knows if you bought the microphone, that was probably two or $300. And maybe you bought a, a light kit, which maybe was a hundred or $200, but you're not doing it. You're not using it. So that tells you there's something else going on. And no, it's not that you don't have time. Let me just tell you that right now. You have the time you'll find the time. There's something else going on. 
And if you want to know what that something else is, reach out. Let's have a conversation so that I can guide you and point you in the right direction and provide you with at least some resources. Obviously, I would love to work with you at some point when you're ready. Um, but if you're not ready, then let me at least guide you and get you some resources to help you in the meantime so that you don't stay behind. That's the biggest thing. I do not want you to be behind anymore. I want you to get caught up and I want you to stay ahead of everything. And you know, when I'm talking to uh, my clients who are real estate agents, yes, the market's hot right now and that's great. Maybe you don't have to do any of this video work or anything extra, but remember that the market's not always hot and remember that it's not just about selling this house or or um, listing this house. It's about the story and it's about you standing out from other agents and it's about you doing the work now so that you don't stay behind later or, or get further behind later, I should say, um, because there's going to be changes and you want to be prepared for them. And now is the time. Listen, over 80% of all internet traffic is video based. So that means if you're not creating video on a regular basis, and I don't mean slideshow photos, no offense, no offense, but I'm talking about video content like this. Right now, I'm currently doing this as a live. I'll probably repurpose this and share it elsewhere because there's going to be snippets here that I did not plan out ahead of time, but because I'm naturally talking to you and having that conversation with you, everything's just flowing. See, that's why I like live broadcasting. I was just talking about this with uh, one of the agents. I love live broadcasting. For me, it's a lot easier than pre-recorded video because there's something that goes, there's a switch that gets flipped. Your, your brain goes into survival mode and you just naturally are on stage. Whether you're a performer or not, you're just naturally on stage and you're going to show up the best you can. And live allows you to do that and it allows you to have more grace and you don't have to be perfect, which is awesome because let's face it, we're all a hot mess at some point throughout the day, if not all day long. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, so that's what I love about live broadcasting. Of course, there's different conversations we can have between pre-recorded and live video and when to use it, how to use it, short form video, long form video. Like there's just a lot over there. So that's why I'm saying if you're not already incorporating video in your marketing efforts in your business, or you're not feeling comfortable enough with what you are doing, then we need to talk. And let me at least point you in the right direction. Uh, if that means just providing you with some free resources, great. If that means having a conversation about us working together, even better. Uh, I'm here for you. I want to be your video coach, whether whether you know it or not, I'm already your video coach. And I appreciate you sharing this and being able to engage, hopefully, with this. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers. Go out there and make it a great day. And hey, let's get you to be part of the hashtag video positivity movement, which is you showing up more on video. Take care, everyone.